The second name um, is GameStop. Um, this is uh, a name that uh, is a little bit controversial because a lot of people have compared GameStop to Blockbuster Video. Uh, they've said that oh, all games are going digital and uh, GameStop is going away. Um, GameStop really, their bread and butter historically was to sell not only consoles, but selling used games, new games, and really providing a store for gamers. Um, so what do, we, what do we think is different and what's driving the story? Um, that top picture is the current console upgrade cycle, um, PS5 and Xbox uh, launched in the fall of 2020. And the street is really giving them zero credit for uh, the upgrade cycle, which we don't understand. We don't understand why they are doing that. Um, GameStop saw big comps in November. They did see, well, we they didn't they didn't announce December yet, but it sounds like um, console sales decelerated a little bit because there just was shortage of supply. But uh, PS5 is working on uh, getting their inventory. Uh, getting more units produced, and we expect sales to pick up in 2021. Uh, the last upgrade cycle, uh, it was a huge beneficiary to GameStop, and the street is basically modeling in uh, GameStop not making any money this year. We think it'll be closer to two to two and a half dollars uh, per share. So we think there's a huge multiple expansion story here, um, just on the console upgrade cycle, and. The second part of the story is the bottom headline there. Uh, the former Chewy, the former Chewy CEO, um, is an activist investor um, in GameStop. His uh, venture capital firm has a position of close to 14% of GameStop. And today it was just announced that Ryan is going to be a board member of, uh, yeah, board of management for. Uh, GameStop, and they're also he's also um, allowed to bring on two more uh, board new board members. So he says that he has a vision to turn around GameStop, and he has a lot of credibility because he's done he did an unbelievable job with Chewy. Uh, Chewy was a huge beneficiary during the pandemic, um, and while um, it seems like so many other retailers are affected by Amazon. And Amazon kind of just crushing everybody. Chewy found its niche in the pet industry and really uh, catered to pet owners. So he's hoping to do, do the same trick again, but this time with uh, hardcore gamers. And he believes that uh, Ch GameStop can basically become a leader in the video game space, whether it's digital or discs. And uh, I would say from the, from the disc perspective, both PS5 and Xbox, uh, their consoles, well, two of their their, their higher end consoles both take discs. So discs are not going away. That's still 50% of the industry. So we think it's a it's an interesting story, uh, just on the console upgrade cycle. But we do think there's a potential longer term story uh, with GameStop that we that we we like to see that we'll see how it plays out.